All right, guys, we've got a fox that's in the hen house, so to speak. He's, he's figured out our uh, trap, dug around us, pooped beside the set and left. Let's go see if we can get him caught. <clears throat> Welcome back to another one, guys. We have got an issue. This is the spot in between work and home and literally 20 feet from where we caught that red fox hat a couple of weeks back. I reset on a, another spot up because I caught a cat just right over here beside it too. But I moved to this corner here. You can see up this corner edge. And we come in here this morning and we are dug plumb out. There's our bait. Look at him, he dug all in here. There's my trap. There's my pan. I'm gonna have to get my brush Well, I can clean this out. And I'm gonna drop the pan tension on this. This is a Bridger. No, 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 this is a Duke 550 Pro Series. I'm gonna swap it with a one and a half. Well, I won't go that small. I'm gonna go 175. Some of my smaller traps. And uh, I'm gonna have that pan tension on about a pound and a half. And I'm gonna come right back in here. And I'm just gonna set, I'm gonna reset this hole with a, uh, a one and a half or number two, one of the two. I'm gonna look, see what I got handy and ready to go all right guys welcome back so i made it home back to the shed i got in some of my bus totes and i've got some mb 450s we'll check the pan tension i think i've got them at two and a half pounds but i want them a few years back and i decked them out with these expander pans and uh they made good cat traps i caught quite a few bobcats with them but um the expander pan they set a little higher than my likings and i mean i've adjusted the dog and made it where it'll fall right but it's just a little overkill and it's a little tricky you'll get a toe catch using them if you're not careful so i'm going to take my expander pans off and use the regular um pan that's on them all i did was drill a hole and rivet the expander pan to the trap to the pan it's just got two rivets in it and I'm gonna just rivet these, uh, drill these rivets out. Well, I said I was. If I get right in that center of that hole. There we go. So we're gonna. Take them off and we're gonna set that set with these. And I believe that's gonna. I believe that's going to get us. Hey, man. Hey. They work great. I mean, they make a, they give a lot more paw service, uh, a paw surface. I mean, they do work great. But these, uh, these pads do fine by themselves. I mean, that's a pretty good surface amount right there. And the dog is already night latched on it. So they work good. Let's, uh, let's set it here and double check our pan tension. Yep, see they're setting good. See how flush that pan sets? See that? You don't see it over that jaw there. If your pan's setting up, you new guys, if your pan's setting up above your jaw when you look level like this, then you need to adjust or forward. Forward will bring your pan down, back. If you bend this back, it'll bring your pan up. You just slightly, uh, just slightly adjust it. It doesn't take much. Get your pan bar tool right here. It'll go on right there like that. 
and you can bend it forward or backward, whichever way you need. But I got a pan tester right here. Any of you new, you guys know, but you new guys, every line is a pound. You just put it right in the middle of your pan. Let me get where you can see me. And you push it down one pound, to, right at two pounds is where it was set off at. That's what we want for a fox. We want two pounds of pressure for a fox. So this one's set up, ready to go. I'm gonna clean this little bit of rivet up off of this one, double check the tension, double check the, where the pan's laying, and it'll be ready to go. I've already got them, they're on three swivels, about 16 inches of wolf fang anchor. They're ready to rock. So uh, let me finish getting these together, guys, and uh, we'll get back out there to that place and uh, we'll get some traps set for that fox. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we're back at the fox set. The trap was sitting. We had a pro series sitting right there. That's where he dug it up at. Well, I hope the sun ain't messing us up. Let me put us on this side. Yeah. So, I'm going to come in and dig out this and get right tight to this hole here with the new one. Being careful what I take out. I want that hole to be right there because that's where he's going to go to. Uh, we've got our night lights. Let's see how we need to trench this out. I say we take a little more out right here and a little out right there. Because one thing about it, he sure wasn't afraid to get off in there. I had a, about three inches from the hole and that's where his prints were everywhere. Setting these smaller traps, it takes a, you can't put near the force on it that you do them little, the bigger ones. I just reattached it to my J-hook swivel here on a drag laying right there in the woods. That way he's got room to get back in that timber and he just ain't sitting out here by the farm or by the highway or any of that stuff because we're not that far off the road. Try to get all this packed tight where I can get this little sucker to sit. Make sure your clots are out of there. All right. Boy, you push on that too much and it trips the jaw off. Gonna take some getting used to on these little suckers again. I have to wait to night latch it until I'm done. Still got a little wobble here. That ain't no good. Fill that in, you wouldn't want to leave that. Always keep up under your pan good and clean. You don't want nothing blocking that pan. We ain't moving now, boys. All right. Night latch is set. 
you can see this is a little pans a little covers a little big this is for 550 but I'll get it covered good with good dirt and uh, we'll see how it goes Remember, it's two pounds of pressure, so you really want to be careful. Setting this. I just know this little sucker's gonna go off. Alright, we're packed tight. some bait off in there and we'll see right here's our pan we're gonna put another one right here blind since that's the way he come in last time and uh see if we don't pick him up right here all right so we got we got our set set Thing about them foxes, you gotta make them work for it. So we're gonna push it way down in there. We got our set right here where he come in from. Moved his scat there, and we got that tight to the hole there. That's two sets. I ain't putting much bait in there because the less bait's in there, the harder for him it is to get. I'm going to use this wool he went through last night to help shove it on down in there. And I'm pretty damn sure I used Bobcat Super Call in that spot. So I'm going to put some more back in there and see if he goes for it. Because that's loud. Ain't no way he misses that. So we've double set his butt. I'll put a little fox urine on the hole. Feather this out, son. We don't want that stick too close. There's our finished set. We got a pan right tight to the hole there. All right, guys, we got this this corner locked down for this fox that dug us up. This is the number. We had one fox do it early in the season. I caught him the second night. We had a fox do it at the new farm, and I've reset, but I hadn't caught him yet. And now we've had it happen on this farm again. And we've got it, we've made our calculations, we've reset on him, we've added a blind set, we've added this one back here. I'll get right back on here when we check this set tomorrow. Stay tuned, guys. Hey guys, welcome back. 
So it's got dark on us. I've had a long day. I just got here. We're walking in now. We're gonna check the other sets and uh, see what we got. I shined my light that away when I first got in, got out and started headed to the field here. And I seen some eyes moving. I don't know what it is, but it's in that remake where the fox got in our coyote set and he left us a, a piece of scat right there and he dug up our pan cover. Um, that's where I seen the eyes at. So hopefully we got us a nice red fox. It could be a coyote, I don't know. Could be a freaking coon for all I know. But anyway, we're headed in there to get that checked. Stay tuned, I'll get us on when we get to the set. He looks big from here. I'm thinking, it, yeah, it looks like a coyote. And you know, this is right here near where that, that coyote and heat was at. This is in a MB450. Is he? He's rubbed pretty good. Yep, that's that fox set I had. And it looks like we've got a little bit on both feet. Oh, he's angry. Listen to him roar. He's tore this corner up. You can see that saber tooth drag right there. <clears throat> yeah. I ain't crazy about being this close with that drag there, but I'm pretty sure that I set an anchor on that one. We got a drag on that one. Yeah, and I drove the other anchor. Well, I hear your buddies howling for you. Yep. So that's what it is, guys. One was on a saber tooth drag. And I just swapped J-hooks, put a new trap on it. That's that's the set where the fox was robbing us on this farm. And I set a MB450 on the back top, top left side of that set, as well as one right tight on the hole of that set. And uh, that's exactly uh, where I set it for that fox. And I had the pan tension on like two pounds. And it obviously done its job and had this anchor not been here, he would have got out of this spot. But I anticipated catching that little red fox, so I didn't really worry about him burning up, blowing out this corner set too bad. And that's why I went ahead and set one in an anchor. But as you can see, it didn't matter because he caught the anchor and the drag. I got him on his front right and his back right. I'd say he's caught is an understatement. So anyway, guys, I'm going to give you another look at him, and then we're going to move on down the line. But just goes to show you, just because a fox steals your set, and you, you can set it all you want for a fox, it don't mean a coyote ain't going to come around and get his butt right in it. <laughs> all right, guys, have another look. Hey guys, there it is. We got us a nice looking coyote tonight. I'm gonna get him took care of and we'll be right back here in the morning. We got some more sets to check on the other farm and we gotta head to the new farm. I call it the new farm, but we've been there now for almost a week and a half now. So it's not necessarily the new farm, but um, appreciate you guys coming along. We got us a nice coyote in the Fox set. If you like this kind of stuff, please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button if you hadn't already. It's going to be a good one, guys. I'll see you guys right back here tomorrow when we head right back down the line. See ya.